Before we get into this week's episode, I did want to bring up one little tidbit of advice that Derek gave me during our debriefing after last week's lesson. Make this plane do stuff, Dave. Yep, I'm going to need that on a t-shirt. Like, immediately. Today's flying lesson is all about stalls and recovering from stalls. A wing is there to generate lift. And when a wing stops generating lift, it stops flying and it is considered to be stalled. In order for us to learn how to recover from a stall, we actually have to put the aircraft into a stalled condition. So yeah, we're going to take a flying machine and make it stop flying. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Hmm. In all seriousness, I'm actually really excited about this lesson. It's going to give me the opportunity to demonstrate some real airmanship, and I haven't had much of a chance to do that yet. All right, I'll have you set me up for maneuvers and clear your area, do your checklist. Okay. Or do your checklist and clear the area. And then uh, I'll demonstrate uh, the first one. Do we want to lean anything? Uh, if you want to run through your cruise check for practice, you may do so. Okay, cruise check, power is set. I'm continuing to set it as we accelerate. Lean, how do, we, how do you lean? All right, so there's a couple different ways. Actually, the Cessna book says that what you do is you, you twist it out until you see a rise and then you keep twisting it out until it drops back down to your original set RPM. Okay. And because the POH is a thing that you can use in flight, even though most people will never pull it out, and I like to, because that's kind of fun for me. As we approach the practice area and set up for our maneuvers, I asked Derek about the proper way to lean the fuel-air mixture for cruise flight in our Cessna 172N Skyhawk. Rather than simply recite what he already knows about the procedure from memory, Derek goes right to the POH, or Pilot's Operating Handbook, and gets the information straight from the source. <clears throat> to achieve the recommended lean, mixture fuel consumption figures Shown in section five, the mixture should be leaned until RPM peaks and then drops 25 to 50 RPM. Okay. At lower power settings, it may be necessary to enrich the mixture slightly to obtain smooth operation. Gotcha. Cool. Just go to the book if you ever have any questions. All right. All your answers are there. All right, we're gonna turn to the south here. Ah, uh, watch your altitude. Yep. Yeah. Fly with a purpose means maintaining our altitude. Keep one hand on that throttle. That's the first time Derek says flying with a purpose in this video. He says it again later as well. There might be something to that. All right. As always, Derek will demonstrate the maneuver first, and then I'll give it a try. There we go. Okay, you ready for me to demonstrate the first one? Yes, I am. All right, so the first one we're going to do is power on stalls. I'll have the controls. My controls, controls please. Yep. You All have right. the airplane. I have the aircraft. Okay, so we're headed south here. Um, I'm look at me climbing like that right off the bat. And that is a practice area. All right, our pre-maneuver check's done. We've cleared the area. I've got the point that I'm going to use along that canal and then the end of the Blue Cypress Lake yep. to the east side over there. Uh, we got uh, 2,500 feet. We got our point picked outside. We got our heading of 180. Carpet's going to come on. Power's going to go to 1,200, which is the idle stop. And I'm going to immediately follow on with back pressure on the stick to keep the nose up and, the, and uh, to hold the altitude. I'm gonna slow the airplane down. I'm gonna slow, just like we're entering slow flight, I might add one, two rolls of trim. As I approach 55 knots, car peak's gonna go off. Here comes 55 knots. I've already got a horn going off. So I'm just gonna take it to the buffet then for the imminent. All right, going up, going up, going up, going up. There's the loss of directional control buffet. A little bit early on the stall horn. So the recovery will be, I'll just lower the nose, kind of maintain my altitude. I might get a little sink there. And I'm accelerating out. I have the airplane. All right, so pick an altitude. You can do 2,500 if you want to go back down. That's okay. where we'll start. Okay. All right, when you're ready, you got your point out in front of you, Lake Washington. 
We'll go ahead and uh, turn on the carb heat. Hey, carb heat on. Power to 1200 or idle. And, and immediately introduce back pressure to keep the airplane from ballooning and try not to climb. Okay. So we st should still see horizon in front of us. Use the rudders to control the direction of the nose here towards our point and maintain coordination. And now go ahead and uh, turn the carb heat off and add full power. And we'll add pitch, nose pitch up. Right rudder, lots of right rudder there. A little less right rudder, keep that ball right in the center. Yep. Keep it right on your heading. Keep pulling out and there's the secondary horn. So go ahead and lower the nose and accelerate out. Try not to lose any altitude, okay. but unless you need to. Right. I never put it in the trim. That's okay, you don't have to. If you don't need it, you don't have to. And accelerate out. Yep, keep accelerating out. Okay, cool. All right, let's do one more. Stay at 2700, okay. and we'll do one more, and then we'll turn around. I'll show you a full stall, and then you'll do a full stall for me. Okay. We'll, you'll do two full stalls. All right. All right, so we're going to go carb heat out, and power to stops. All right, be careful not to pitch up too two. high. You're initiating a climb. Got we want to maintain our altitude in that entry so that we don't bleed too much speed too fast. All right, when you get to 60 knots, add power. Pull up, right rudder. A little Still less fine. right rudder. Yep. And when you get the horn, the second level of horn, go ahead and recover. There's imminent. There's and a go second. Ahead and recover. recover. Are you full power? Yep. Okay. Oh, trying to lose any altitude here. Got to 3,000 feet that time. Put some back. Full 3,000 feet. All right, once you're fully recovered, I'll take the controls. Let's tell West Traffic. Got a sky just to west of Jet Ski Lakes, 3,000 northbound, turning southbound stalls. Bravo area traffic, helicopter 141 Alpha Hotel. Your airplane. All right, my aircraft, I have the aircraft. Uh, Thank you. All right, clear right, we're gonna turn right. Now, before we do this, I just wanna show you a couple things. Yep. One, how the, really important how the airplane behaves in a stall. So you have no concerns about how recovery should go. Since this is my first introduction to stalls in the Cessna 172 Skyhawk, Derek is now going to demonstrate the falling leaf stall and the accelerated stall. All right, so. This is gonna be called a falling leaf stall. We're gonna take the airplane to the edge of the controls as far as nose up, no, a full nose trim up, full back pressure, and you'll watch how the airplane behaves in a full stall under control. Okay? okay? So we're gonna be clean configuration, and you're gonna see that the airplane just kinda of drifts down, just kinda of falls, which is why we call it a falling leaf stall. We're just gonna keep it in coordination. I'm gonna run the trim all the way up, nice and slowly, on, very slowly and gently enter this stall so that we don't uh, have a wing drop or anything like that. So it's nice, okay. nice and wonderful. All right, so now we're in a stalled condition. The horn is going off, the aircraft is stalled. It does a little bit of pitching and bucking as we are falling, but if you look, we're falling at about 700 feet per minute, yep. and we're in a full stall, totally under control. Yep. And I'm just using the rudders to steer and I'm at the limit. If you look back, look back at the elevator. See oh, how yeah. it's all the way up? Yep, I see that. It, it's all the way up. I'm at the limit of the airplane, and it's not letting me get crazy. It's right. not letting the airplane go out of control or anything like that. You want to try it? Yep, I feel right. that. Okay, so you have it up. Yep. yep. Okay. Very easy to fly, and we're yep. fully stalled right now, just kind of falling. Yep, coming right, right out of the sky. Let me show you one more thing. Okay. All right, my controls? You have it? I have the aircraft. All right, I'm going to relax the back pressure. I'm going to accelerate. I'm going to take the trim out. We're at 2,500 feet. And I'm going to do what we call an accelerated clean power off stall. Accelerated stalls are in a, it can be in a turn because the load factor is higher and we can uh, decelerate a little bit faster. And that's what makes an accelerated stall. So it's a little bit of a more agitated condition of the flight. We will still do them coordinated. Okay? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the power to idle. 
I'm going to roll into a 30 degree bank and I'm going to stall the airplane in an accelerated condition. I got a little bit of rudder in that turn so that I don't spin or anything like that. And um, once again, I'm stalled. I'm in an accelerated turning stall. The airplane is very stable. It's not going crazy. It's not rolling over. It's not going into a spin. We're falling at about a thousand feet per minute. Easy to control. Wow, okay. Okay, so as far as the airplane like going crazy and losing control when you're about to do these full stalls, ain't gonna happen. It's gonna be real nice to fly. Okay, cool. All right, so let's do the first one. We'll do the power on stall. I'll start you here at 2200, so we don't waste too much time. Okay. Hotel West Traffic got a uh, Skyhawk over the uh, flooded farm fields west side of Hotel West. We're at 2200 power on stalls. All right, I'm gonna set my maneuvering up. I've cleared my area. My looking around. I've made my radio call. Carby comes on. Power goes to 1200. I'll maintain my altitude, kind of. I apply a little bit of left rudder as I pull that power to idle to keep the plane from turning to the right because I'm going to lose all those left turning tendencies that I have there. Yep. And then I'll slowly transition to right pedal as I slow the aircraft down. Okay, so here we are at 60 knots. I'm going to add full power. There's the uh, horn, the first level of horn that we get there at the Cessna. We're going to get it horn again. The horn will get louder as we get deeper into the stall. There it is. There's the... Alright, and we're waiting for the buffet and we're waiting for the stall. And when the stall happens, there's the stall, nose down, relax the back pressure, correct with the ailerons once you have airflow, and use a little bit of rudder to kick it over, and then slowly pull out. All right, your controls? And controls. All right, make a right turn, head back to the north, and I'll have you do it. Okay, clear to the right. So when you, when you get that wing drop, you're gonna, you're gonna correct with ailerons, but you're not gonna do it immediately. You'll lead with a little rudder to get to right the airplane, and then once the airplane has flow over the wings, then you can add some ailerons in there to correct that big wing drop. You want to get airflow over the aileron before you input the aileron, because if that wing dropped, um, that's the one that stalled first. Right. And if you go through a bunch of increased angle of attack by dropping that aileron into the wind to lift that wing up, you'll stall it further, and that's when you can get into uh, an even deeper stall or possibly a spin by becoming uncoordinated. Okay. All right, let's have you show me now. So just take the power on stall now all the way to the full stall of the brake and recover. Okay. Car feed on. Throttle to stops. 1200 RPM. A little bit of left rudder. One, two. Our repeat's going back in because we're at 60, full power. Well, that's the right rudder in there. And keep that ball right in the center. Not too much that it goes out the other side. Do it by feeling the seat of your pants. And hold that pitch attitude right there and just kind of wait. And when it drops, just relax the back pressure. There it goes, drop the back pressure. And accelerate out. And we'll get to do it one more time. That wasn't so bad. No. I got it pretty deep in there. Yeah, you did. <laughs> I love this stuff. Stalls are fun. Yeah, I, oh, no doubt. I remember doing spins in the pits. That was a riot. And the controls started to get nice and soggy. Yep. On stall. <laughs> Doesn't like you. <laughs> there, there it goes. goes. And next time, relax that back pressure just a little bit more. Okay. Try to keep that ball in the center a little more. Okay. We'll do a whole bunch of them throughout your training, so just remember the things to concentrate on. We'll debrief it a little bit. But that was good. Good job. All right, we're at 3,300 now. Let's level off. It's nice and cool up here, so let's level off here. Sounds good. 33. All right, and I'm going to show you a power off stall to imminent. Okay. All right, my controls. You have the controls. All right, so now this is the landing stall. So we're going to uh, simulate a landing approach and descent into an airfield, and then we're going to be dumb and we're going to pull the power to idle a few hundred feet off the ground and decide that it's our time to uh, test the uh, minimum speed of the aircraft just over the ground. <laughs> right. And uh, then we're going to realize that, well, that was a bad idea and we're going to recover the airplane. Okay, 
So the setup, we just did a clearing turn. I uh, got my pre maneuver check done. I'm gonna turn the car heat on. Power is gonna go to 1500. Immediately the flaps are gonna go to 10 degrees. All right, I'm gonna resist the balloon. When I get into below 85 knots in the wide arc, 20, 30, and 40. Final flaps, carb heat off, just like we do in the pattern. All right, and then I'm gonna start a descent at 60 knots. It's not gonna take me a lot of trimming. As long as I resist that initial balloon when I put those lifting flaps in at 10 degrees, then I'm pretty much okay. You can feel the buffet, that's the drag and the airflow over those big old flaps that we got out there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna pretend like I'm coming in on approach. I'm gonna take my time with this demonstration. 3,000 is where I'm gonna do the stall. I'll pretend the floor is 2,500. So I got a big, wide uh, area to work my stall in, okay. and I'm pretending like I'm stalling 500 feet off the ground, which would not be smart. Okay, so to initiate the stall, I'm gonna pull the power to idle. I'm just gonna pull the nose level and hold it here and bleed speed like I'm rounding out and flaring early. And when I get the first sign of the stall, I'll recover. There's the horn, recover. Full power, flaps to 20, right rudder. And I'm gonna maintain my altitude as best as possible. I'm going to slowly accelerate and not descend if I don't have to. There's 59, flaps go to 10, BX. All right, I'm watching for uh, a retrim here after I select 10 degrees of flaps. There's 73, VY. All right, 2,900 accelerating. And I'll start you back off at 3,000 for yours. Okay. All right, and just take it to imminent. And we'll do the full stall second set. All right. Let's do it again. Okay, so uh, power to, let's see, um, car on. Uh, power to 1,500. And keep the nose level. Flaps to 10. Flaps down to 20, 30, Charlie 40. South traffic, uh, ready to operate a plane spinning. And start our descent. 3,000 and 6,000, Charlie South. Okay. Okay, so. At All right, so I'll have you do it at 2,800 feet this time. Okay. And recover before the hard deck of 2,500. Okay. All right, we're going to go level, power to idle. Go. Be careful of that high pitch up when yep. you add power. All right, first thing we do is put 20 flaps. Oh yeah, flaps to 20. All right, we're at 59, I can go flaps to 10. I keep lowering that nose, don't allow the airplane to climb. Accelerate up. All right, use the trim. Yep. And then when you put that last uh, 10 degrees of flaps up, it's gonna like feel like it bottoms out on you. You're ready to come in with back pressure to maintain altitude. Now we can climb out. Yep. All right, I'll take the controls when you're ready. Uh, and you're finished recovering and I will Demonstrate the full stall. All right. All right, you're good. All right, my controls. You have the control. I have the aircraft. All right. I'm gonna get a drink. Take a break. <sighs> All right, car beats coming on. Power to 1500. Flaps to 10. 20, 30, 40. As we slow. 60 knots, carb heat off, final flaps on approach. All right, I'm gonna do my stall now. So we're gonna take it to full stall, recovery is the same. Power goes to idle, and I'll pull it level, I'll try to stop the descent. That's how I'm gonna get my airplane to stall. All right, I may need to pitch up a little bit towards the horizon. When it breaks, it's gonna drop pretty hard. There's the brake, full power, flaps to 20, lots of right rudder. Let the airplane accelerate, I'm totally neutral on the controls. I'll stop it at level, let the airplane accelerate, I'm above VX, flaps go to 10. 
Maintaining my altitude, accelerating. Come on, baby. There's 73, flaps up. All right, I'm gonna pull out of it, and I'm gonna climb. All right, you have the aircraft, climbing back up to 3,000. And when you're ready, make a right turn back to the south and we'll use our uh, little area here that we're in. Clear right? Right. All right, your turn. Show right. me the power off stall to a full stall. All right, talk me through it. All right, car being on, car to 1500. Five to 10. And we gotta be careful not to lose altitude or gain altitude in the entry. All right. Uh, so you're below 85, 20, 30, 40. Final flaps, carb heat off. 60 knots, start your descent. Okay, think, uh, extra maneuvering, 3,000 to 6,000. And when you get to 2,800 feet, power to idle, and stall the airplane and recover. It'll be a full power recovery, initially flaps to 20. And I always just relax the back pressure. Twenty. You're above the X. Hold it. Hold it there. Thank you. Accelerate. Hold it there. Butter the right rudder. Now that was nice and slow and methodical. A little faster on the power next time. Okay. Recognizing that you just stalled and you need to get some speed under them wings. All right. Ready? I'm ready when you are, sir. I'm not gonna talk you through this, you talk me through it. Okay, carb heat in, power to 1500, flaps to 10. Lot of left rudder, plus our left, left turning tendencies. We're in the white arc, 20, 30, and 40 on the flaps. Carb heat in at 60. And start our descent. Yep. I'll have you do the stall at 2,500 feet this time. Okay. And pretend like the floor is 2,000. Okay, the floor is 2,000 feet. That's the death line. Cool, plane's flying itself, just like I wanted. Here's All right, here we go, 2,500 feet, power to idle and level. Power's coming back, 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 back. There's our stall horner. And there's the there's the stall. Power in, flaps to 20. Ah, there's your secondary. Yep, there's the secondary. Let that nose come down. Yep. Maintain that altitude. Accelerate. All right, flaps coming to 10. For 70 knots, 73 knots. 73 knots, flaps come up and we can begin to climb out. How's that? That sounds good. Take me back to Melbourne. Let's do some. Uh, let's do some uh, Lennox. Cool, so at this point, Derek and I headed back to Melbourne Airport to do some landing practice. In all, we did four landings, including one simulated engine failure landing. I'll show you the first one here and what happened on the climb out afterwards. Way too low. Climb back up. Add the power. Use that extra airspeed to climb back up again on glide path. Okay. With the nose pointed at the runway. Nose down, point it at the runway, aim it. Keep your aim point and fly towards it. Look down the end of the runway, pull up, pull up. Left rudder, pull up, pull up, pull up. There you go, nice job, Dave. Oh, flaps up. Repeat in and power, ready? Yep. Three knots. 
November Tower Skag, 737 November Victor, holding short 911 at Kilo, ready for departure. 7 November Victor, I'm holding short. Not that. Holding short. Not that. Good thing to check your, uh, your yeah, trim in between. Yeah, I should have checked that before yep. I took off. All right, I want to nail these speeds this time. Okay. More like nail the aim point and the speeds will come. Well, I want to name my climb out speeds too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. I was failing. I, I feel like I was failing on my landings before I even turned the cross. Seven, seven, November Victor, fly runway heading, runway 9 left, clear for takeoff. Runway heading 9 left, clear for that's takeoff. That's not good. Seven, November Victor. 509, Melbourne Ground, runway 5, taxi via Victor. Good idea. Critical phase of flight, get rid of any distraction. Yep, I don't need you in my area right now. All right, that's it for this episode of Flight Review. If you like this video, please mash that like button. And if we have earned your subscription, we would love it if you stuck around for more videos in this series. Also, Derek and I have started an audio podcast called Flying with a Purpose. You can find it in iTunes, Google Play, or Spotify. We would love to hear what you think about it. As always, please remember that this video is not personal flight training for you. Editing removes context. While I try to be thorough in these videos, not every moment is left in. I encourage you to talk with your own flight instructor about the topics covered in this episode. Stay tuned for the next episode where I start learning steep turns and how to fly when I can't see outside the plane. Until then, be well and fly with a purpose. Cheers.